now, right? <laughs> yes, y'all just pray for him. <laughs> so my very first audition, Simon made some comments about my weight, and I tell you, it was my worst nightmare come true because that issue has been the area in my life that I thought at one point or another that I was never gonna be free. There was a time when I was a child that I started turning to food in order to find comfort. There were just some things that happened to me that should never happen to anyone, let alone a little child. And um, as a result of those things, I started to turn to food. Because food was the one area that when I went to it, I knew that it wouldn't reject me. And I knew that I felt good when I ate. And I knew that it would always be there for me. And so at a very early age, I started to learn those, that mindset. And for my entire life, for over 20 years now, that's just been my comfort. That's been what I would run to for refuge. And so, when Simon Cow made those comments on national television in front of you all and 30 million of my closest friends, <laughs> needless to say, I was devastated. But how many of you guys know that God is able to use all things together for the good of those who love the Lord and call the Lord his country? And he did just that. And the next time I saw Simon, I was able to tell him that I could forgive him. And the reason I could forgive him was because Jesus Christ had died so that all of my wrongs could be forgiven. I could certainly extend that same grace to him. And guess what? They aired every single word of that on national television so the entire world could see exactly what my deliverer is able to do. And you know, about two and a half years later, I can stand up on this stage and I can tell you that God took it a step further than that. And over the last seven and a half months, he has been setting me free from what has been a lifelong food addiction.